कैन यू बिलीव इट लास्ट वीक वी वर काउंटिंग हाउ मेनी स्टॉक्स वर हिटिंग न्यू हाइज ऑल टाइम हाइज एंड टूडे वी हैव अ सिचुएशन वेर वी हैव स्टार्टेड हिटिंग फिफ्टी टू वीक लोज येस नेस्ले इंडसेंड फ्यू मोर स्टॉक्स हैव हिट फिफ्टी टू वीक्स लोज दिस इज अ बिग डील बिकॉज द फॉल स्टार्टेड हार्डली टू वीक्स बैक द ब्रॉडर मार्केट द रिटेल पोर्टफोलियोज हैव गॉट डेसिमेटेड ऑलरेडी At this juncture, a lot of you would have in your mind how to average low, how to reduce your losses. Averaging is the most common philosophy. I'll talk about an alternate strategy in the nugget section today. I have found it slightly more useful, though I also average a lot, and I do all the mistakes that I ask you to avoid all the time. Hi everyone, welcome to the update of twenty third October. Bajaj Finance was the best gainer. TCS was the next one. followed by hdfc bank infosys hcl tech bajaj auto the biggest fall was in sun pharma down 2.6% followed by mnm icici bank lnt ntpc and reliance industries overall market was better than yesterday in fact it was lot better than yesterday in the morning but it was something like a mountain 30 stocks down 20 up next 50 nearly same 27 stocks down 23 up varun beverages today came back strongly that was up 5.75% so did dmart zomato has again increased the platform fee from 7 rupee to 10 rupee i think they are stretching the rope a little too much the other gainers were info edge madarsan sumi icici prudential what fell most the familiar pack avb siemens bhl from the same category tvs motors adani energy This graph tilted slightly only towards the right but that made all the difference for that day nifty was red at the closing time three sectors with the bears two sector with the bulls software and banking they were green this dashboard is slightly losing relevance temporarily because these sectors are at the top because there is no one to challenge them banking is back in the green it has made some money but look at software and oil and gas losses though it is the best sector today look at it the leader persistent look at the volumes a huge amount of people wanting to own persistent it hit a all time high joining tech mahindra and hcl in the green zone zomato may be back in the green zone tomorrow but i personally did not like the news it seems like a blackmail festive season pay us more While I thought that Siemens and ABB will crack because of the overall economy, I never thought that the cracks will be so wide continuously. Just three days back, they were both green, cracking five percent nearly every other day or every day. The sector heavy machinery was down three percent yet again, that too on high volumes. Investment pack came back strongly, up one point five percent. Nifty today was mixed pack. Bajaj Finance came back strongly. Results were good, but I didn't see five percent in them. But today I was also biased because I sold Bajaj Finance yesterday. The news of Allianz impacted Bajaj Finserv, not Bajaj Finance, which is the parent. So a bad read on my side. This pattern of Nifty was specifically a problem for investors today because most investors were nearly out of money already. When they saw Nifty going up continuously. some of them believed that maybe the fall is over today is a good day and whatever money they have were left with or they could garner they did a bit of investment and then nifty came down this was worse than yesterday because yesterday the money was already in the value eroded today fresh money was added and it reduced in value immediately even today this is even more disheartening sea lines went up came down the entire distance tcs went up half the distance infosys up down icici bank in any case was down only hcl is exceptionally strong right now hdfc continues up icici continues down sbi continues down kotak mahindra continues up axis bank continuously down pnb continuously up that is why the index did not go anywhere volumes were good and bajaj finance was rocking indusind hit a 52 week low today See this distance from fifty-two week low, one percent. On the other hand, HDFC three percent away from fifty-two week high, and we have a green in the IT pack persistent that hit a new high, ten point eight seven percent up. 
I talked about the results yesterday. 20% is good. Market like the results. Entire IT pack got lifted. Not just persistent, but everyone was up. The volumes were good. Not much in the defense pack. GRSE up 2%. Cochin Shipyard 3% down. Total lackluster day for the defense pack. Hindustan Zinc was up today also. Vidanta went along with it. But sale cracked 3%. Hindustan copper 1.5%. This sector was earlier sulking because of China. It will now sulk because of India. Because the economy is not looking good at all right now. Varun beverages which was beaten a lot last 10-15 days. That came back strongly today. Up 5.5%. Tata consumer which was down 10% because of results. That came back but not much 1.7%. This sector will gradually grind down for now. It is a very strong, very important sector, but it will soon be plagued by inflation. Center has itself said that the inflation will last probably till end of Q3. Non-edible pack, page industries came down. Gillette, which was down yesterday, was up today. Pidilite results are good. That's because of the crude factor, perhaps. The net profit is up nearly 20%. Street should like it tomorrow. Look at the trend for HUL, continuously down, the results were bad, what that means is it did not meet the expectations of analysts, the Q2 profit fell to roughly 2600 crores, DMART came back today up 4%, another green MCX 52 week high, 361 was down, HDFC MC was down, ICICI securities were down, but the gains were solid. Nippon AMC 4.59%, BSC 4.47%. In fact, most of the stocks that fell down, they were also up. They came down with Nifty. See Angel 1? K-Fintech was up, then it came down a bit, up 2%. Exceptions were BSC, Nippon AMC, continuous up. Even Motilal Oswal. This sector is still looking good. No respite for oil and gas. Chennai Petro results were out today. That was down 10.5%. MRPL, it seems that some people saw the value which I have been talking about. CMRPL, continuous up. Reliance, up, down. ONGC, up, down. The oil marketing companies are a bit surprising because they are not finding their feet. Around 74-75 crude level is good for oil marketing companies, especially when there is no pressure to reduce the prices in the local domestic market. I've added Siemens as well as ABB in the power enablers. Both were down and down a lot. Big cracks in BHL and Cummins also. Maruti tried to raise its head today, went beyond 12,100 but then came down. It did not manage to close above 12,000. Selective stocks up but the sector is looking a little bearish only to me. A lot will depend upon Maruti. Seems like an ordinary day if you look at Nifty, Bank Nifty. Half of the day was good for retail, half of the day was not. At the end of the day, I don't think retail was happy. And this is one century which no one is anticipating or look forward to. Neither is this. Because I'll tell you a very comical element. This number equates to roughly 870 rupees per citizen invested by DIIs in this month. And this is all because of the FII sell-off, this is the reserve depleting. Which means if you go for redemption right now, DIs will have an extra pressure to immediately start selling the stocks to honor the redemptions. Energy, next 50, auto, all down. Today, TCS, HDFC Bank held the fort along with Infosys. That is why you see Nifty IT was up 2.3%. Even HCL Tech, 1.2% up. HUL, Q2 net profit falls to 2591 crore. The problem is with the estimates over optimism. GMR Group is looking good. They have secured 6300 crore investment from Abu Dhabi Investment Authority. The results are tomorrow. They have done significant expansion of Hyderabad and Delhi airports. Let's see if they can monetize it. There is a ruling also from the court in their favor. However, I have fallen into that good news many, many times and always lost money investing in GMR Group. So I am not investing. Now CCI is waiting for formal evidence to launch probe against quick commerce players, bad practices, selling stuff cheaply, subsidizing. Look at this article, Campa Cola's aggressive pricing strategy, rising pricing strategy, 10 rupee per pack of Campa Cola. Silver has crossed 1 lakh, it came back, closed 
around 99,400. Gold is nearing 79,000. And they both are winners. The century number does not matter. My trades for the day, there was no sell today. I bought a bit more of silver ETF. I bought Varun Beverages before it shot up. The charts were looking good to me and I also bought a little GM Financial. And in today's market, this is not the best strategy. I'll talk in the nugget section next about what should be the ideal strategy. And I have sold some of my stocks like Satin Mass Financial with that strategy in mind. So I thought I'll talk about it. Averaging is what all of us do when the stocks fall a lot, say 10%, 15%, 20%. In today's kind of market, it is like trying to catch a falling knife. Remember on 4th of June, many people bought when stocks were down 20% and then the lower circuit got revised and they went down another 5%. Today, persistent was going up. It was at upper circuit 10%. A lot of people thought that it can't go up now. So they started selling and then the circuit got revised to 15%. So circuits get revised for stocks as well as for indices. Also, the bottom is not known to anyone because we don't know how much FIs will sell tomorrow. We don't know what will be happen in the war tomorrow. We don't know how crude will be tomorrow. Too many variables outside our control. Now, percentage loss reduces, but exposure increases when you average. Suppose you invested 100 rupees and that became 90. You add 100 more, so it becomes 190 now. Suppose there is another 10% fall. This will now fall by 19 rupees. So your capital will become 171. The loss will not be 10, it will be 29 now. It is increasing at a faster pace. Take it with a pinch of salt. I usually advise to look at percentages, not absolute amount. But here you have taken higher exposure. Your free capital has got reduced. Averaging works best when stock has stabilized and consolidating. The fall has stemmed. You are roughly in a range bound kind of scenario not going up or down. For example, HDFC was in a range for nearly 4-5 years, about 100, 200 rupee, 300 rupee range maybe, but a broad range, it was not going out of it. And I deployed this strategy when HDFC went beyond, I think 1700, that is where I bought HDFC, not before that. For 5 years, I did not block my capital though I had conviction in HDFC bank. But now strategically, think market direction first, where is market headed up or down in general? Right now, broader sense of direction is downwards. Also think buyer mood for the larger buyers, FIIs, DIIs. Think your strategy and per size. What is your broader strategy for next one year, two year, five year? Think of economy and sectors. I am not seeing consumption increase around me. I am not increasing my consumption. I publish sector related dashboards for a purpose. They give a sense of direction. For example, investment banking, you have all seen with your eyes. Last 10-15 days, those stocks have gone up and that is the best sector. It will change over time. It won't ever remain the same at the highest point. New sector leaders will emerge. And think of best stocks, whatever parameters you want to use. I shared some yesterday also. If a stock has given you losses, don't try to recover that loss from the same stock. It will probably hit you worse. FNO traders will probably be smiling right now. If your stock has gone down from whatever level to this level, draw a line somewhere. I will not buy before this level. Let the stock go up, down, up, down, up, down within this level. Once it crosses this threshold, deploy a little capital and say, I will not deploy more capital till this point. Similarly, think of resistance levels while going up. Draw these lines. Keep adding capital. This is counterintuitive if you have been averaging. And note that laddering is not the right term. I use it loosely. It is used in a totally different context in the, in the investment world. Eventually, the money that you earn is absolute profit. This is specifically true for today's market where bottom is not known. And especially retail owned stocks, which are not, I would say, a pedigree, not in the derogatory sense again. But yes, retail is right now sold out on good quality stocks, holding not so good stocks. If you need some examples, then leave some comments. Top 2-3 stocks I'll cover tomorrow in the nugget section on how we could ladder them and what are the correct levels for them. That may help you plan a bit of laddering for your stocks compared to averaging. It's a long journey, not a week or month long. Hope this was useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.